What's on your mind? Don't be scared. Let us know at the Make a Statement Show. What's on your mind? Don't be scared. Let us know at the Make a Statement Show. Just move. Again. Welcome to Make a Statement. This is John Whitehurst, Minister Whitehurst, or Reverend Whitehurst, tuning in. And we thank you for tuning in today at Make a Statement. I'm going to be doing a series of statements that, that are going to be coming out, uh, dealing with issues that are affecting us in our communities and in our country. Um, they're going to be coming out, and, and we'll, we'll, sit and we'll also have a segment set up where we'll interview other people and let them come in and make a statement. We truly live in a day and time where you can make a statement, and just by making a statement, you can make a difference. Because we have so much connectivity going on out there right now with YouTube and, and, and Facebook, and now they have Google Plus and, and other social networks and ways for people to connect to other people. And you can affect and you can change uh, this government and you can change your country uh, for the better. When you see something that's going on that's wrong, don't you just stand there and, and, and let it blow over your head. Uh, but you contact us at Make a Statement and you come on and you let us know what it is uh, that you want to uh, discuss and what it is that you want to deal with. If it's an injustice, uh, Martin Luther King once said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Don't you hesitate uh, to take action. The Bible lets us know that faith without works is dead. We can pray, pray, pray all day long, but until we take action, things in our community, things in our state, things in our lives, things in our country will not change. And so we're here to make that difference and, and, and bridge that gap for you here at Make a Statement. You just get in front of a camera, even if it's your own webcam, or you Skype us, or you get, get with us on Twitter or Facebook, or you come to our website or you email us and you get out there and you make a statement. If you don't do any marching, if you don't do any shouting, if you don't uh, walk around with any signs and do any protesting, the least you can do is make a statement. Now, what I want to deal with today uh, is an issue that I see arising and, and, and it's an issue that's been around for a while in our uh, community as African Americans. Um, and it's an issue of divide. There is division in the African American community. And with us having the first African American president uh, finally inaugurated and, and, and taking term in office, we do not have time for the leaders of our day to be fighting and bickering against one another and, and having marches on one another uh, when there's, uh, there are so many injustices and so many things uh, that they could be fighting against or standing for that, that are going on in the nation right now. And I want to deal with, with some key leaders uh, and I want to make a statement about these key leaders. Uh, and, and hopefully uh, you will like this video or you will share this video. And, 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 and maybe the word will spread that we don't want our leaders in the African American community fighting with one another when they can be fighting uh, for causes uh, that are affecting us in our everyday lives. And so, since President Barack Obama is the President of the United States, let me start with him. Don't get me wrong, I've supported President Obama from the beginning. 